Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on Larry Telegram channel called Tartaria and History channel. Please check the description to know more about his channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Nine Unknown Men, an ancient Indian secret society. There is a pervasive legend in India of a secret organization that allegedly has a vast amount of advanced knowledge in their possession. Believed to have been formed over 2000 years ago, the Nine Unknown Men is widely suspected of manipulating political and societal trends in order to further the personal goals of the Nine. But is such a secret organization a reality, or is it merely the stuff of legend? Think about the greatest emperor Indian subcontinent ever had, the name that comes first in my mind is of Emperor Ashoka, the third ruler of the Maurya dynasty, and the grandson of Emperor Chandragupta Maurya. When Chandragupta Maurya established his empire in 322 BC, he would have never thought that one day, his grandson is going to take over and expand the Maurya empire beyond the horizons. Legends say that Ashoka's empire was the greatest of all the emperors in terms of land, army, finance, education, trade, and quality of living. Ashoka was also famous for converting to and promoting Buddhism. Only during his eighth renal year, that's really crazy, he fought his last war, the Kalinga War. Seeing the aftermath of the war, which he even won, he was in a state of horror, shock, and depression. It was then he decided to convert to Buddhism. He made efforts to spread Buddhism throughout India, Malaya or Malaysia, Ceylon or Sri Lanka, and Indonesia. It was his efforts that Buddhism later rose in China, Nepal, Tibet, and Mongolia. He also realized that the true power is in the knowledge. He started this mission to sought to prevent the people and his fellow men from putting their intelligence towards evil, particularly the evil involved with the warfare. He thought that the task of collecting, preserving, and containing all knowledge was too great for one emperor or a man to do alone. So he summoned nine of the most brilliant minds in India at that time. The identity of those nine men was kept a secret for their own security. Ashoka asked these genius nine men to form a secret society. This secret society came to be known as the Nine Unknown Men. This secret society set up accumulating all of the scientific knowledge they could. Be it natural science, psychology, the composition of matter, physics, chemistry, astrology, astronomy, etc. Ashoka feared that if ordinary men were given the scientific knowledge, they would use it for destruction, so only those nine men were allowed to study and develop scientific theories and technology. And, to preserve and to better accomplish this, each of the nine men were given the task of writing, updating, revise a book. When any one of the nine could no longer carry on the task, whether death, fading health, wished to retire, the duty was passed on to a successor who was very carefully chosen. The point was, the number of members in the society was always to be nine. This society of the nine unknown men has lived on for over 2000 years. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. I wonder, when was cranes invented? And who invented the ancient crane? The little surf on Google, the answer is, the concept of cranes originated from pulley systems that were first utilized by ancient Mesopotamians as early as 1500 BC. 
The first compound pulleys were created by Archimedes of Syracuse around 287-212 BC, which he used to lift an entire warship, along with its crew. The first crane for heavy lifting was invented by ancient Greeks as far back as the late 6th century BC. The evidence that this is the first use of a crane comes from the holes on stone blocks of Greek temples show distinctive cutting. So, basically, this info tells me that the Greeks were smarter than the Egyptians. The Greeks used cranes to build their buildings. Yet Egyptians just used people to move those big blocks around. You'd think if the Egyptians were in contact with the gods, maybe they would share the little tip about cranes. Probably would have been an awesome time saver. Once again, someone, somewhere, is lying. What are your thoughts? The Patagons, or Patagonian giants, were a race of giant humans rumored to be living in Patagonia and described in early European accounts and indigenous myths. They were said to have exceeded at least double normal human height, with some accounts giving heights of 12 to 15 feet, or 3.7 to 4.6 meters, when John Foulweather Jack Byron and his crew of the HMS Dolphin claimed an encounter during a South American expedition. Their claim was even supported by Matthew Mady, secretary of the British Royal Society, who wrote in a letter to the French Academy of Sciences. The existence of giants here is confirmed. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.